everyone today is yet another saturday and today i got a very special video today i got the apatosaurus it's um it's not a new dinosaur i made it a few months ago but today i decided to show you this dinosaur that i have created uh, now this dinosaur is very special uh, since i learned so many new things while building this dinosaur i used many new techniques uh, three to be exact and uh, let's begin by checking out each individual part of the dinosaur now as you can see here the body uh, the pet source can be divided into one two three four uh, seven parts but it can be divided divided into more parts because each leg is about three different sections the ankle and then there's uh, the knee that that uh, attaches these two sh sections together and so on there's many parts for this dinosaur way more than um, I can count um, the front feet over here as you can see only have one joint for movement at the ankle and the other one is at the shoulder where it should be making <laughs> making the dinosaur have this type of movement for the leg front and back that's it for the front leg the back leg is uh, a little bit uh, different since it has uh, a knee over here uh, I use this piece for the knees and um, it's quite bigger than the front leg because that's how this dinosaur is supposed to be the leg over here uses clips unlike the other one it uses this other type of piece I'm not sure what it's called but anyways that's not important I usually keep the leg like this so it can maintain a specific posture the tail is not too special it's just an extra long tail of any normal dinosaur you would build uh, it's all gray a mix of gray dark uh, dark and light uh, it has a ball joint at the end and then here in the middle got a clip and another clip over there at the beginning we have the technic piece over here and the neck is n is quite blocky it has too many blocks and plates on the bottom the only joint is over here and over here this is a ball joint that attaches the neck to the head and here's just another um, clip to move it up and down now the head is not uh, anything too special it does not have very specific features like the Parasaurolophus or the Brachiosaurus if you don't know what I'm talking about go check my other videos and the mouth can open and close using a clip again and uh, the eyes are just on the side nothing too special now the body is where um, get thing, uh, things get interesting I used this um, plate on the side two of them so it can uh, be hollow on the inside you don't want your dinosaurs to be too heavy or they won't, the legs won't support the dinosaur this is the joint for the tail it goes up and down you can rotate the tail when you attach it now this joint here is interesting I used um, this double joint method where there is um, a brick over here of uh, I mean a brick of uh, difference in the height and the same thing goes for the back of the neck there is only a brick between these uh, the clip and the bars and that's how it holds the dinosaur in a very specific posture and um, these are for the legs over here of course I just use one of these two I don't use both of them the bottom of the dinosaur I used as the base um, these two pieces that were part of a plane the back does not look that much interesting there's nothing it's just plain over here on the back of the dinosaur on top of it it's um, kind of smooth with just four studs I should smooth this out probably use another tile instead of this brick and that's it for the body now putting it back together 
Now, first we compare it with a minifigure. Now, the minifigure, of course, is shorter than the ankle of the dinosaur, and it's not that much of... Um, uh, it's not that accurate. The, the foot should be a little smaller. And um, next we have the Stiggy Moloch, which can be like, it's approximately the same size as your average Velociraptor or Dilophosaurus. But in, in my case, I have a Stiggy Moloch. It's a little bit taller than the foot of the dinosaur, but it's still shorter than the knees. It can fit perfectly under it. Yeah. Next, we got the Triceratops. Now, if you have a Triceratops, this can go with it in the Gyrosphere Valley, as you can see in the movies, Jurassic World movies. Uh, it's quite shorter than the knees of the dinosaur. It does not reach the knees. Now, the interesting part is when you compare it to a T-Rex, you see a huge difference of size. You feel that the T-Rex is not that big anymore. It's small in comparison to the Patosaurus. Um, the pet source is approximately twice the size of the T-Rex in the build. I don't mean in the real life counterpart of the pet source. I'm not sure about that. And um, in the end, I'm pleased to have such an amazing dinosaur with um, three new techniques that I used, being the neck technique, this technique over here to uh, block the to use less blocks, I mean bricks, and the technique of the knees. This is um, very interesting. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a, leave a like, share, and subscribe. See you next week.